brothers and sisters are offering this morning, as you probably saw uh, on the bulletin beforehand, is for the ministry to heirs, uh, right? Or did I get it wrong? I got it wrong. What's it for? Camp Adonai? Geneva House? <laughs> oh, I'm doing so good this morning. Yes, Geneva House. For those of you who are not aware, Geneva House is the Christian Reform chaplain, Chaplaincy Ministry at Queen's University. It is uh, run by Steve Coy and his merry band of volunteers and helpers and workers, and they do tremendous ministry there at Queen's University, offering uh, suppers and Bible studies and uh, really offering students the opportunity to go very deep with God and interact with the rest of the Queen's community in a wonderful way. Um, from time to time, we have updates from uh, Steve Coy and from Geneva House, and I would encourage you to really pay attention to those because they are always not only a joy to uh, listen to and see, uh, but also uh, provide so much encouragement about what God is doing there at Queen's University. In terms of congregational prayer, uh, I have no particular updates that we need to um, highlight from since last week. So uh, let us go directly into congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for drawing us together again this morning. Lord, we are so grateful for your love that chases us down throughout our lives. That you smash those barriers and that you climb up those mountains pursuing us. That you illuminate the darkness and tear down the lies. Lord, please help us. Help us not only to hear the truth that you bring us through your scriptures and through your spirit. Help us not only to understand the light that you shine upon our path each and every day. But help, help us also, O oh God, to truly be salt and light in this world for each other and for the people of this world. Lord, as we come to your scriptures for the message in a few minutes, Lord, we pray that you would indeed illuminate our hearts and minds, that we would hear what you would have us hear through the power of your spirit. Father, we pray as well that you would bless the ministry of Geneva House and of Steve Coy and his work there. We thank you so much for Steve and his family, for Julia and the kids, and we thank you so much for uh, the long-lasting impact that Geneva House has had on uh, the culture of Queen's University and of the lives of countless alumni who have gone through uh, the halls of that school and of Geneva House. Lord, we pray your ongoing blessing there. And we ask, O oh God, that these our tithes and offerings would be pleasing in your sight, that they would go to the spread of your kingdom, and that you, O oh Lord, would do great things through all that we humbly offer to you. Father, we pray for all of those in our congregation and elsewhere who are struggling with health concerns, whether they be mental or physical or spiritual or emotional or a combination thereof, Lord, would you please comfort and strengthen and heal. And Lord, again, where it is possible, let us be your healing hands. Let us be the feet that bring your good news, for that is why you created your church, O oh God. Father, we pray again for all of those facing wildfires in Northern Ontario and in British Columbia especially, O oh God. We think of the many people who have lost their homes. We thank you so much for, for the protection of life. Lord, we pray that you will continue to 
brings safety to our firefighters and volunteers. And Lord, we pray. We pray for your mercy on this land. Not only here in Canada, but elsewhere, oh God. As we hear about fires in southern Europe as well. Lord, we pray for the many in this world who are struggling with COVID-19 or its effects. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you so very much that, that things here in Ontario and in Canada are, uh, are opening up to some degree. And we pray for continued wisdom for our leaders, both in government and in healthcare. We know that they, like us, are not perfect. And we know that they, like us, except perhaps more so, are probably pretty tired by now. And so, Lord, we pray for an extra measure of your strength and grace upon them. And we pray that we may wisely and humbly obey the leaders that you have put in place and love our neighbor and that you will guide us in that. Lord, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.